it's early days. We can't use one day to uh, judge the quality of SO. We all know SO on the good day what uh, he can do. I mean, if you look at the game closely, I mean, he came to the party, you know, he played very well. It's just unfortunate that uh, we couldn't score. Yes, it's a concern. I mean, football is about goals because if you want your team to be competitive, if you want your team to, you know, uh, exhibit good quality, if you want to attract the fans, attract the right business, you need to score goals. So it is a major concern you know, that my team is not scoring. Uh, and uh, this coach, last question. Do you think the absence of fans really affected your the absence of fans at the stadium really affected your guys today? Oh yes, to uh, uh, to some extent yes because uh, we uh, didn't see the roar, we didn't see the euphoria. We all know what fans brought to uh, games. And in the like Dreams FC and Accra based teams, uh, perhaps if the fans uh, have been encouraging to the uh, fans, you know, the Ufu, the Re. You know, could also spice up, could also edge their players. I have played on this pitch. Uh, I remember when I was playing as Kotoko, uh, as Olympics, the whole stadium, you know, can be full, and that also edge the fans. We want to upgrade. And Dreams FC were the best team. They control the intensity, we feel the pace. We managed to bring them down from the tunnel. They gave some solid competition. They were the side. We also came from. And give the allies different ahead of time. But it's unfortunate that the Fila instance was not there, the three points was not there for people. I'm very, very disappointed in the fact that uh, we play so well and couldn't put the ball at the back of the list. I'm looking for the Dallas. Great churches should have won this game by two, three, and the balance of play. Okay. What of the ones in your take also? What you can it. What you can do it. What can do it. What you can do it. What you can do it. What you well, to some extent, uh, yes, but to some extent, also, I don't agree with it because uh, I would use the Dream FC entire game as a benchmark, as a guest. Uh, we were the best team, uh, as I said earlier, uh, we controlled the flow, we broke the defense, you know, with solid presentation. And population group. But the killer instance were not there. Uh, we have to do that to the ground back and uh, do the necessary conditions with public and go down towards the next video map, which also will be part of a good track. I will see that. And I believe that if we are able to step up a bit uh, in terms of uh, the final decision, the final plan, uh, we will be the best. Okay, and uh, the position of Joseph Esso was widely discussed. Today we saw him operate from behind uh, Ajahnim Boateng at times. Behind Ali Usafra. Uh, yes, so is that, um, do you think that's his best position? Well, I will uh, list Joseph Esso right from uh, his, his uh, useful days when he was playing for Eluate. He moved to the Usafra. Uh, I watched uh, a lot of his games uh, at their past possible. Uh, they played him in 10. If you look at his play, SO is a 10. He, can, he did those uh, you know, 10 passes. He can also score, can also hold on to the ball. Uh, he played very well. Uh, there was one instance which he did the entire line defense, which you know, they were working. Uh, it's unfortunate that he couldn't find the back of the net. But he stepped up really well. He played really as the best player. In kind of it. We were impressed with his attitude, his and uh, the tactical instructions are assigned him to play behind the target striker. Uh, SOB is uh, professional. Yes, um, coach, of all the eight matches. Question. Uh, worry? No. But concern? Yes, because uh, it's a competitive game and three points are stake. Uh, our game plan, you can see right from the blast of the referee, 
was that we believe that with the arsenals we have, we believe that with the approach, uh, with the quality we have, uh, we will be able to beat it down, hands down. Yes, we open it, we open them up, we uh, manage to break their defensive line. But it's unfortunate. I mean, it's football. Sometimes you create all the chances, the best chances. One of the chances was the able chance. It was just about five or six yards to go, and, and just went. We thought the ball was in, and we uh, jumped into celebration. Realized that he didn't find the target. Uh, it's, unfor it's unfortunate, uh, but we have to look forward uh, to the next game. Coach, uh, one more for you. This is the first time you've had an opportunity to see your team in a competitive action this season. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Now. From pre-season, you spoke a lot about your expectations for this season. Having seen their performance today, what would you say will be a realistic target for your team this season? Uh, realistic target, unfortunately, I cannot share that with you. <laughs> but we believe Dreams FC will compete for every point at stake. We want to approach each game as and when it comes. Now we have finished with Interallies, uh, positive negatives. Yes, but the positives outweigh the negative. We have to look forward to uh, the next game, Mediama. We have to make sure we limit the, the negatives and then uh, step up more on the positives. I believe that the way we played, if we will, be, we will have that killer instance, if we will have that composure in front of group, I believe we will be a delight uh, to watch. The harder you work, you know, the better your chances improve. Uh, uh, we, in training, uh, we emphasize more on the overload. Overload. We emphasize more on composure. Uh, so th uh, the whole of this week, our training session has uh, focused on putting the ball at the back of the net. But it's unfortunate you go into a game and you create these chances. Uh, yes, the statistics you read out uh, is absolutely. Uh, correct. It's a concern to me so far as the technical direction of the team is concerned. But I also believe that it is something that we can answer. It is something that we can respond. And that is why if you look uh, at Dreams FC in the transfer market, we did some good business. We brought Esu, we brought Ali, we brought Eber. And the chances came. Uh, we have to encourage them. We have to keep going. And I believe with time and patience, we will begin uh, to start scoring. One, so, one more question <coughs> from this guy.